We're going to start with a basic relaxation experience, and then I'm going to invite you to experience a separate reality. Now, when I say experience a separate reality, I want you to do something more than just imagining. And I want to try to explain that in this way. As long as your eyes are open and your senses are experiencing this room, this room is your primary reality. But if your eyes are closed and you're not particularly conscious of the smell of this room or the sights and sounds of this room, but you're experiencing another place, if all of your attention is there, that is your reality of the moment. It's the only thing that you're experiencing. If you can experience another reality and you experience that more than you experience what your body is doing, and if you actually believe that the reality that you're experiencing in a, a given moment is the reality of that moment, then it becomes the reality that is giving you your information for the moment. <laughs> Let me say that another way. If I, while I'm talking to you right now, I mentioned Times Square in New York City. Now that I've mentioned that, a part of your attention has gone there. If I start talking about the sights there, the traffic, the buildings, the noise, the smells from the restaurants and the shops, and if we go into more and more detail, more and more of your mind will go to Times Square. If I can get you to the point where more than 50% of your mind is involved with Times Square, that becomes your primary reality. And what will happen as a result of it, that is that you will project your consciousness there. And this projection of consciousness results in something called remote viewing, which means that you can literally see what's going on in Times Square right now, in this moment, and you can see it accurately if you project your consciousness there and you become more aware of that place than you are of this room. Your mind will go to where you send your attention unless you stop the process by saying, this is just my imagination. When you say, this is just my imagination, then you have told your mind not to go, and so it doesn't go. Don't limit yourself by your beliefs. Don't fail to totally enter the experience. Be there and make it real. Experience it and let the experience have an effect on you. In this meditation experience, we're going to, uh, to do two things. We're going to encounter your child self that we talked about a little earlier. And we're going to climb a sacred mountain. In almost all of the ancient systems, um, the systems of ancient Egypt, of India, of China, Tibet, of Christianity even, and Judaism, all of them talked about the ascension of a sacred mountain. The sacred mountain in all of these systems is ascended in seven steps. The sacred mountain is really within you. The peak of the mountain is your crown. And it is at the peak of the mountain, the highest point of your consciousness, is where the inner self-helper lives. In a dwelling that is called the temple at the top of the mountain. So we're going to go into a pleasant place and climb a mountain in seven stages. Enter the temple where the inner self-helper lives and introduce yourself to your inner self-helper or introduce yourself to yourself, the essence of yourself. Not somebody else, but the real you. Get in touch with the real you in this experience. And that will be our purpose. Okay, take a deep breath and close your eyes and relax. Let the breath out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Do this about three or four times. And each time you do, let go of a little tension or stress or just relax, let yourself turn loose. Now in order to get very relaxed, we're going to use a positive active technique of relaxation, which means first we're going to tense some muscles and then take the tension out. This will extract more tension than passive relaxation. 
So I'm going to ask you to start with your left hand and arm and just tighten all the muscles from your shoulder down to your fingertips. You can do it without actually moving your arm, just tighten the muscles. Just make it tight, 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 tight as you can in your left arm. Tense it up, hold it until it almost hurts, and now let go. You can shake it out if you want. And let your left arm just totally relax. Move your consciousness to your right arm and do the same thing. Tense every muscle from the shoulder down to the fingertips. Make it as tight as you can. Hold the tension. Squeeze. Make it really tight. And now relax. Let go. Turn loose. And move your attention to your left leg from the hip all the way down to the tips of your toes. Tense every muscle as tight as you can, even in your toes. Make it tight all the way down. Tense and tight as tight as you can. Hold it. Let go. And now the right leg. Tighten the muscles from the hips all the way down to the toes. Really tight. Tense, tense, tight, as tight as you can. Hold it. Hold it. Now release. And coming up the body, the muscles around your hips, your buttocks, your thighs, the pelvis, all the muscles in that area. Squeeze the muscles of the buttocks tightly together, really tight, 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 really tense throughout that whole area. Squeeze it, hold it, feel it, and release. And just a little higher up, the abdomen and the small of the back. Pull in your tummy, pull it in real tight, and tighten up the muscles in the, the low back. Make it really tense, hold it in, tense, tight. Feel the tension, get in touch with it, and release. Move up to the upper back and the shoulders. Tense across your shoulders, tuck your arms in tightly to your sides and make the upper part of your back and your shoulders really tense and tight. Hold it, tense up, release. Pull your shoulders back behind you, pulling your shoulder blades together. Pull it all the way back and tense that way. Pin them back, tight, tight, and release. Move your shoulders forward in front of you and pull tension across your shoulders that way and hold it for a few minutes really tight and release. And move your shoulders up to your ears and your ears down into your shoulders and make tension in the neck and across the shoulders and release. Now the muscles of your face, nobody is looking, so just scrunch your eyes tightly shut, open your mouth as wide as you can, and stick your tongue out as far as you can. Make it really tense and tight, all the muscles of expression, and release. Now smile as widely as you can, stretch the muscles across your face. And see if you can feel a sensation of warm, liquid light pouring down over the top of your head and penetrating the scalp so that it relaxes all of the muscles of your scalp and your head. This warm, liquid light is pouring through you over the forehead and over the ears, over your face and over the back of your neck so that your, your whole head and all the muscles of the head and the scalp and the face and the neck are all becoming relaxed as warm, liquid, soothing light flows down over your head and your neck and across your shoulders. This warm, soothing, penetrating light is moving through every muscle inside every gland and organ and tissue and healing as it relaxes and flows down over your arms down to your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, and your hands, filling your body with light. Let it swirl around through your chest, your upper back, your shoulders, down into the torso and abdomen, down into your hips and thighs and pelvis. Warm, soothing, liquid, sparkling light is flowing down through your legs, all the way down to the knees, the ankles, and the feet. A river of light is flowing through you, 
that allows you to be relaxed throughout your whole being. Flow with this river of light as it flows away to a quiet, open meadow, a beautiful, pleasant place of grass and flowers, with a brook that flows through. And awaken all five of your subtler senses in this meadow. It means see, see the place. See the green grass, the trees, the brook flowing through, the water flowing over rocks, and the sparkle of sunlight on the surface of the water as it trickles over the rocks. Awaken your sense of hearing here as well. Listen to the sound of the water as it's dancing and singing and gurgling over the rocks. Listen for the sound of running water. Listen for the sound of a breeze in the trees moving the leaves. Listen to the sound. Put a foot into the water and feel the cold wetness of the water. Smell the freshness of the air. Smell the flowers. Make it as real as you can. Experience all of your senses. See it and hear it and smell it and taste it and feel it. You can even taste the water in the brook. Taste it on your tongue and in the back of your throat. Taste it. As you're moving through this quiet, open meadow, you see a mountain standing before you. It's so tall that the mountain stretches up beyond the clouds. And the mountain has seven steps, each step like a terraced garden, seven terraced gardens leading like stair steps to the top of the mountain, and each garden a different color. As you walk toward the mountain, you're coming toward a red garden. The first garden is red, and it causes in you a sense of expectancy and excitement. This red garden is the garden of energy, the garden of stimulation. The garden that says, I want to get to the top of the mountain. I expect to be changed by this experience. This experience of meditation in this next few moments can change the way I see things, the way I feel. It can be a transforming experience. I want this experience. Therefore, I expect it. I'm not just hoping for it. I expect to be changed by this experience. You're setting a cause in motion. Feel yourself surrounded by red flowers in a beautiful See the red flowers against the green of their leaves. The Dockwood Garden is predominantly red. Feel red energy flowing up from deep within you and lifting you as you go a little higher up the mountain into the Orange Garden. The red garden turns into orange as you go higher up the mountain. You're surrounded by orange flowers. This is the garden of leaving behind all of the things that you don't want to carry with you. In this garden, you can dig little holes to bury guilt and fears and old opinions about yourself, things that you don't want to keep alive. Make some little holes here and bury those old attitudes and patterns and habits and fears and guilt and worries. Put them here. This orange garden is the death of who you used to be. And as you go beyond the orange garden and climb a little bit higher into the yellow, you're coming into a garden of new life. This yellow sunlit garden is the beginning of who I can be. I've buried my guilt and I'm coming alive in this garden of sunlight. A new life, a new way of looking at myself, an ability to love myself. Go beyond the yellow garden into the green. The green garden is the garden of the heart. We've gone from red to orange to yellow and now into a green garden. That's like a garden of a cool forest with ferns and moss. And there's a presence here in this garden that I want you to meet. Inside you, there's a little child. And that little child needs love, needs encouragement, needs praise needs appreciation and attention. This little child in you may be afraid of you. 
may be afraid because of your self-criticism. He may feel, she may feel criticized, hurt, neglected, not loved. Do you love yourself? Can you have the little child in you? Meet your little child. There's a little child in this green garden that looks a lot like you. And I'm going to love you when nobody else does. Even if nobody else loves me, if nobody else appreciates me at the moment, I'm going to give myself some appreciation, some love. I'm going to love my child. And I'm going to try to remember to praise you often, because that's what makes children grow. I want to encourage you. See if you can make friends with the little child in you. Give him a hug. Hold her in your arms and climb the rest of the mountain together. Bring the child with you and together climb up into a blue garden. This garden has some blue flowers, blue stones, the color of the sky, a garden of clarity. This is a garden of coming to clear thinking coming into new understanding. Come through the blue garden, climbing still higher into a violet garden. The violet garden is a garden of responsibility. I want to learn from this experience and I want to take responsibility to make a difference in my life and in the world around me. So if I can just make it this one more step to the top of the mountain, I want to bring the light from the top of the mountain with me into the world. As we approach the top of the mountain, there's a cloud. You'll have to go through the cloud to get to the light at the top of the mountain. The cloud is the cloud of your unknowing, the cloud of doubt, the cloud that has kept you from enlightenment. But coming through that cloud, there's a ray of light. Just step into that light and follow it right through the mist of the cloud. And it will lead you to a place that is as bright as, as the sun. Coming through this cloud is like walking into the sun itself, the brilliance of the sun. Walk into the sun and let it surround you with light. Brightness that's too bright to even look at. Surround yourself with the light and then become one with the light. You are the light at the top of the mountain. This is where you live. There's a temple up here on the top of this mountain. Take a look at what your temple looks like. This is the dwelling place of the highest that is within you. Your, your superconscious. God within you, your God self, the real you, the essence of yourself lives in this temple. Make it a great and grand temple and go inside it. And in the quiet of the temple, ask to know your inner self helper. Say to your higher self, I want to get to know you. And I want all the fragmented parts of myself to feel confident in you. I want to ask you to be in charge of the way I think and act. I want to call on love to be the force that controls my life and not fear. Speak to love and say, love, take over. Teach me to think love. Teach me not to be afraid. Teach me to have the confidence that I need. And then say to love, your inner self-helper, I want to come to this mountain very often. This same mountain. I'm going to spend some time building these gardens so that I see them and feel them. And so that I can come into this temple and sit down and be with you and learn new ways of thinking and being. You may want to add some rooms to this temple, a place for the parent you,
for the child you, for other parts of you that may need healing or bringing together, so that all the parts that you can identify in yourself come together to sit at the feet of the inner self helper, the higher self, the source of love within you, to learn and grow. You can add a healing room in this temple. There is a great library here. Everything that you need to know may be in that library. You can come in there to read from the books, from the Akashic Record. There are helpers here in the temple, available to help you through any situation. Come here as often as you need to come and make this temple a very, very real place. It's where the essence of your soul, it's where the essence of yourself lives and has communication with its source. So dedicate your temple and make yourself a promise to come here again and again. And then come out of the temple into the light at the top of the mountain. You're surrounded by sunlight. And then begin to descend to the temple again, bringing the light of this place into the practical workaday world around you. Bringing the light down, you come through the mist of the cloud into the violet garden of responsibility. From the violet garden into the blue garden of clarity of your thinking. And from the blue garden into the green garden, where you joined with your child self. And bring the child with you now from the green garden down into the orange, the yellow. And from the yellow garden into the orange, and down into the red garden of expectancy. And once more, say to yourself, I expect to be changed by this experience. From the red garden, you're back into the meadow. This isn't just any meadow, this is your meadow. Give it a specific description so that you can come back to this meadow as many times as you want, and every time you imagine this meadow, peace comes over you. The beginning of a meditation experience. Now hug your child again and say, I love you. And return your consciousness to your physical body. And be aware of your breathing. Breathe yourself back into your body. Take a deep breath and move a little bit. Stretch your fingers and toes. And then you can stretch and yawn and smile and open your eyes.